Oh, it's breakfast time again. Uh, did I play Almaz? I think I played Taz. I think Almaz is shit. Um, why is jungle hunting here? Why are all these things in here? Well, wizardry is definitely in here, but I can't play that because that's the game I actually had. <coughs> yes. Uh, Fairlight is not my kind of game. I was going to say rubbish, but uh, people get upset if I say that. You know what? I'm going to have to do it this way. I might as well just load up the bloody tapes. Let's have a look at it now. The trouble is, I know the games that are shit, but uh, I don't necessarily know the games that are good. And I seem to uh, gravitate towards uh, earlier games, which usually means they're on joystick port 1. I haven't even got the PC uh, switched on at the moment. So... Oof, it would land on Beaky and the Egg Snatchers, wouldn't it? I've done that game, no need to play it ever again. Uh, I'll try, uh, I'll try uh, Big Trouble in Little China, you don't want that. Um, It's a shame these tapes aren't labelled with the uh, software publisher. Because uh, then I could actually separate things by uh, publisher. Which is much better for me. Uh, I'll go on the Blade Runner it is. Let's give it the full tape loading experience product placement for today now we bought the biscuits I hope I ordered some more mm. That's what um, the built-in uh, logo on the spectrum sounds like. Of course, it had to be like this. Um, it's basically emulating the, uh, the, the spectrum uh, loading system. But you don't need to hear this kind of uh, noise. Is it going to draw in the rest? Not an absolutely shit title page. Even the uh, stylized uh, Blade Runner title looks shit. Bullet holes are not very sci-fi. What is this? A Steve McQueen tie-in tie for fuck's sake. So yeah, the reason you have this noise on the Spectrum logo is because the Spectrum originally had to be used with someone else's tape deck. And that was uh, a lot of messing about with the volume control. Yeah, C64, you didn't have any volume control or anything. You plugged it in, put the tape in and it loaded. Yes, it did load. I can't think of any game I bought new that didn't load, that wasn't, you know, fucked as in it never loaded the first time I ever took it home and I got a replacement and then it loaded 
or I got my money back because they didn't have any more, something like that, but no. So I don't know why they've done this. Don't know how you Spectrum owners put up with that shit. That is one annoying loader, that is. Damn it, I thought we'd finished. So of course I don't know why I expected any different but I went on the internet and I looked up um, uh, what you're supposed to do with aggressive cats and once I'd uh, weeded out all the simple uh, you know question and answer situations of oh I've got a new cat or something like that or my cats haven't been neutered all that kind of bollocks there actually wasn't any suggestions. And uh, these are supposed to be from uh, experts, you know, web uh, vet and all this kind of bollocks. And I'm like, you don't know fuck all about cats, mate. That's really something I don't like about going to the vets. They really, they really don't understand the animals. They might have done a course in, uh, you know, doing uh, animal surgery and all that kind of stuff. Which obviously I can't do and I, I wouldn't want to. But uh, as far as understanding, uh, you know, cats themselves, and no, I'm not even close, mate. I probably know more about cats than anyone who's ever written a fucking website offering advice. So, yes, we have a problem. We have uh, two cats that fight. Very recent thing this is. Faith in the body, you mean? I mean, it's uh, an average uh, interpretation on the seat of the, uh, you know, the title music from the, the film. I don't really know what to say about this game because, uh, like I say, I've got other things on my mind. There's no useful advice out there on the internet. And we're talking two cats fighting like cat and dog mate. Which is exactly why I didn't buy a fucking husky puppy uh, two years ago. But I thought, oh I've got seven cats, that wouldn't be fair on them. And uh, now one of them is uh, having to be isolated. So, uh, it's not really a problem if you isolate them overnight when uh, they have their big sleep, in quotes. I don't know what the uh, fucking millennial cocksucker internet expert calls it, but uh, I call it the uh, big sleep, which I believe is a, a Woody Allen film. Or is that Sleeper? You know what, I can't remember, but I have seen it. Very weird film. Um, so yeah, what, what do you do when you've got two indoor cats that not only don't get on, they'll probably uh, really harm each other, which I don't want, obviously, in any way. Or, you know, out of uh, fear, uh, because of cocksuckers who own this house uh, for 57 years, I believe. Goddamn motherfuckers. Um, that's one person. That's just like the, the wife. Because um, the husband always dies first. Uh, 
and uh, there's a, a fucking gap so they've obviously been watching upstairs downstairs like a bunch of cocksuckers and when they replaced it oof they wasted so much space in the hallway in this three bedroom house it used to be four bedroom when it was built but you know it's nice to actually have a bathroom and there's a gap there there's like a six to eight inch gap so if a cat jumps up on the top banister and loses its balance it could fall fucking 14 15 feet onto a concrete floor on the bottom it doesn't matter if i put tiles on it or not it's still a concrete floor but, um, that's risky so i'm not prepared for that and zero basically the advice is separate them and if that doesn't work, get rid of them. And there is another option, which I'm not really prepared to try. And basically, it's, uh, you drug them. You buy some sort of thing that plugs in the uh, electrical outlet and it gives off some sort of, uh, you know, scent, vapor, pheromones, I think, specifically. And it kind of drugs them to calm them. Well, I tried that with one of my cats, yonks ago, I think they don't do fuck all. So, and this is a much more serious uh, thing. There's two cats that want to kill each other. Yeah, do I want to play this game? I'll let the, uh, the C64 decide. Because if it's a joystick port one game, we can't play it anyway. Right, I haven't got the PC on. Now, oh, right, luckily it's joystick port two. Mark, what? A oh, fucking stupid uh, maze. You can't go down that section. Return to start, space. Well, the joystick is moving, so I don't know. Am I not allowed to go in these areas, or why is it letting me in these areas then? So I'm trapped now, so that's a shit design. So it's basically a Mastertronic maze game with an average interpretation of this tune. How'd you fucking get over there? I don't think I can get over there. So I need to get there. How do I fucking get over there? It's a fucking maze game, isn't it? Controls are shit as well. Ah, Jesus Christ. Those are replicants. I was thinking about it, fading out the music, which is, uh, here is the graphics, um, very shit, mm, it's not a very good review I know, I'm off my game at the moment, and it's like fucking uh, the Pillsbury character in a fucking uh, a white nighty from Argos 
got no idea what's going on. So I'm supposed to believe that uh, someone was listening to this soundtrack and uh, this is uh, the, the game they come up with. Now uh, this is actually on the Spectrum and I actually did make a bit more effort with the Spectrum. There's a few extra like graphic screens and all that. Why does the car come and collect me? What, because I bumped into too many people? Am I shooting them like that? Ah, it's got some, uh Oh, Ripley. Yeah, for fuck's sake. The trouble is I owned most of the good early games and I can't play them in this shitty room. Yeah! Well, if I was hoping today's uh, the dawn of Commodore, is that what I was going to call it? Yeah, dawn of Commodore, that's what I was going to call it. BMX Jungle Bike, BMX Ninja, Flink, I think that's some sort of horizontally scrolling shoot em up. So yeah, I mean, uh, I can't really recommend the C64 as a replacement for a real Commodore 64. Although a real C64 looks like shit on an LCD. Possibly even with an S video cable, that really depends on the TV you have. Um, <clears throat> just doesn't work for me. Now I do know some people pretty much review this thing and the VIC-20 as well based on just the games built in. Now, that's a really weird thing to do. I can understand it on the uh, you know SNES Mini because you have to hack that but there's nothing about the C64 full size you need to hack to actually uh, you know load stuff in from a USB port. Even the Mini, if it's still on sale, would have had the uh, relevant updates to make that less painful. But, yeah, there's too many problems. You certainly can't use the same, uh, you know, huge directory of files for both. You're going to have to label stuff for joystick port 1 with underscore capital J1 at the end of the file name. Uh, before the uh, extension. <clears throat> Uh, you can't see the contents of the discs you're clicking on. Um, can't control the cassette motor, which has caused me some problems. Uh, with, uh, you know, multi-load games. Although not Gauntlet, unfortunately, that did fucking work. Gauntlet 2, I should say. Yeah, you know that weird, uh, you know, ordered dithering going on there, especially where they've striped uh, light blue with turquoise, which really doesn't work. It wouldn't have worked even on uh, Amiga in Interlace doing those kind of stripes. Yeah, they kind of look like uh, it's been drawn in fucking gem paint or something. Obviously the EGA version with 16 colours. It's not a very good title picture. That's the, that's the thing I've really discovered about the C64. I probably got out of the C64 when really, you know, most games coming out were like... Uh, it wasn't exactly an excess of talent obvious in those games 
Well, at least the camera's lined up. Actually, looks all right on the camera, but then I ain't got my reading glasses on. On the 55 inch plasma, it looks shit even with the scan lines on. Uh, so, yeah, you know, you're going to have to make a decision. You, you're either going to have to go with uh, one of these or a real C64. <laughs> Don't step on them. Ah, ah. You little dick. There he is, there's the uh, the naughty cat. Obviously he's black, the screen hasn't uh, stopped working or nothing. Camera's even more cockeyed now. What the fuck? <laughs> it's a good thing we're doing a full tape loading, isn't it? Ah, I, mu I must admit, I'm a bit ashamed that I, I didn't click on someone who uh, seems to have started watching my videos and commenting. That's how I know they're watching them. I'm not psychic or anything. Uh, they seem to put up as much videos as me, although not all of them are like C64. And uh, I didn't bother to check out their channels. Uh, I think that's actually quite rude. If someone who's never commented on your videos before actually goes to the trouble of commenting, you should at least go to the trouble of seeing if they have actually got any content uploaded on their channel. I, f I think you should do people the courtesy of that. It's, it's rude if you don't do it. Uh, and uh, I don't know how long it is. Well, I presume it's a he. I don't know. It could be a she. It's not obvious from the name. Um... But yeah, I was like surprised because I'm like, whoa, they got like SNES stuff, Mega Drive stuff, C64 stuff. I think the VIC-20 is really uh, underrepresented though. Um, the VIC-20 really doesn't get the love it deserves. I mean, in the right hands... I think uh, the VIC-20 was a viable alternative to the 16K Spectrum which was only 125 quid and uh, I think those uh, tape decks you used to get were about 15, 20 quid so that's 145 so it's still 55 quid cheaper than uh, a 5K VIC-20 now people say 3.5K ooh those games are all 3.5K but um, I doubt very much that uh, they've left a basic ROM in there and they've shoehorned a game into 3.5k in machine code. There aren't any, well I can't think of any games worth even, uh, you know, buying on a tape back then if they weren't written in machine code for the VIC-20. In fact for any 8-bit computer, if it's not machine code, that was a big thing. 100% machine code plastered all over the uh, back of the uh, thing, sometimes on the front. Yeah, if you can move a little bit to the left, mate, you can uh, block out the sun there. I told you it was huge. He's blocking out the sun, isn't he? That's joystick port one. 1992 came this joystick port one. The space doesn't do anything. No, no Nicky. Oh, I pressed one. Okay. You have to press one to start. I was getting worried there. 1992 game that uses joystick port one was probably really shit. Oh, now the joystick button works. Yeah, I have played this. Uh, I've recorded it, but not as a review. So hang on, pushing down actually makes it pause. But what are you doing? 
Don't, don't scratch up these uh, sofas. Yeah, millennial quality. Leather, in quotes. Did actually say real leather. So I can go left and right. I can go up, obviously. But I can't go down, because it pauses again. Yeah, you do have to press up. Why does it do that then? Is that... That can't be an emulation problem. It's just a fucking pathetic Linux installation with uh, Win Vice, uh, Vice for uh, Linux, which is the same as uh, Win Vice 2.4 that I use. So I can't really play this. It's a shame because it looks alright. Jesus Christ, I'm going to have to fuck about with the uh, 1 gigabyte SD card because I still can't find the 2 gigabyte one which was the one that I was using all the time on my uh, C64 to do the reviews. I really don't know why I would do that. So I can't really play it. Seems alright though. I don't know what the problem is. Farty noise sound effects. This is going terribly. Now one one game my mate always raved about was uh, Bangkok Nights and I couldn't get that bastard to load. Oh crap, it's fucking, how am I supposed to turn the tape over? Who actually did Bangkok? Was it System 3? I think it was actually. The more I use uh, the C64, the more I don't like it, and I'll be honest with you. Yeah, you know, it doesn't have the same problems as using a real C64 with, um, you know, with an SD to AC. You, know, you can alleviate a lot of those problems by actually buying a Tapuino instead. And if you're from the UK, you probably had a tape deck anyway. You wouldn't know any different. But, uh, you know, you need an SD to AC to play Rocket Ranger. Oops, Rocket Ranger's not compatible. Uh, lame fucking crackers. Uh, where the hell? Right. I'm pretty sure this isn't the final one, but it could be. Uh, yeah, you see, look, the door's closed and uh, they're still trying to attack each other. What am I supposed to do about that, mate? The internet has failed me again. Uh, Now obviously they say things like uh, you mustn't, uh, you know, physically punish your cat. I suppose they mean hit them or whatever. I don't do that anyway because it doesn't work. Um, what was the other things they said? Um, something about uh, don't shout at them. But uh, when, uh, you know, two cats have fucking made a yin-yang symbol there, trying to kill each other right in front of you, um, I don't really think it makes a difference where you sh whether you shout no in a voice that, uh, you know, your, your cats do not like. Uh, how do we change that? 
fresh return of digits to start again. What does that mean, digits? I wanted to change the starting opponent to like one or something. One. Let's go with that. Uh, and return to start game. Right, let's see if this works now. Because it does actually load on the SD to IEC, but I never let you play any of the games. Well, there's a different symbol in the corner there. Don't know what that means. Yeah, well, absolutely nothing I can do about it. Yeah. Right, so you hold down fire button basically and uh, push the joystick in different directions. So my mate used to love this because uh, the size of the sprites actually. Although, because the C64 has got some shit palette definition, which is nothing like a real C64, makes your uh, Panasonic plasma TV look like a fucking Seisho CRT, where all the grayscales are fucking pinkish. So you can move around if he lets you. We're having problems with our temporary fix to the joystick. So the sprites are very large, obviously. And the thing is, they're not actually that blocky. Um, so they do multiplex the sprites, but they'll do like two different hardware sprites, one on top of the other, and then multiplex the rest. As long as you don't have more than four on the line, you'll never see any flicker, because uh, you reset the sprite uh, before the one underneath it is uh, finished drawing. So, you know, the characters are quite impressive. You hardly get to move around the screen, though. I don't know who's done the music, actually. I didn't quite catch that. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I can't recommend this thing. I really can't. Are you going to sit there and fucking uh, label every single joystick port one game uh, manually? No. That's on top of all the other problems it has. Yeah, I don't know why they're doing that. Da 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 Which I presume is... Uh, from the, you know, the 70s uh, football fans, they used to shout stuff like that. I'm basing that on uh, the movie, the Italian job. Obviously the Michael Caine version. Not the one with Charlie's Theory on and, uh, you know, the, the BMW minis, which are shit, because they're really Peugeot. Peugeot gearbox, Peugeot engine. Or is it Renault? No, I'm pretty sure they're Peugeot designed. But these graphics are actually not bad. I don't know why uh, 
they've modelled a very ugly, very chubby woman to hold that thing there. You know, it's as bad as that episode of My Name Is Earl when, uh, you know, the 50 year old hooker was doing the uh, race. You know, starting the race with the two cars. I think that's the one with the Mustang. He's trying to win back his dad's Mustang that he lost to uh, Timothy Oliphant, aka the Hitman. Well, I haven't seen that film for ages yet. So yeah, fighting games are not really my thing, I have to say. Especially when you have to play this shit, Josie. That's another thing. You're pretty much stuck with this shit joystick to use with the T64. Uh, yeah, I told you, you have to say it in a really dumb voice. Because there's so many dumb mistakes. Uh, fucking uh, whoever designed all this shit must have been a dumb cocksucker. Because the emulation bit, someone else done. And writing of Linux that works on some shitty little motherboard that costs like, uh, you know, $20 or less, whatever it is. I mean, uh, you know, that is the hard work. All they've done is uh, write the extra bits, and the extra bits are shit. They're extra shit, actually. So the characters are quite impressive. <laughs> Boy. Um, maybe if I was playing it with a zip stick, I might actually enjoy it more. But uh, so I think we're going to have to invest in a tackle, you know. I'm going to have to break open the uh, micro SD card with the SD card adapter. Don't know how large that SD card is. Now, they've tried to use colours in the palette that replicate the uh, ethnicity of, uh, you know, kickboxers. Um, but you just end up with orange and brown characters which never look great I don't know why they had to do it that way obviously everything has to share the same colour so uh, I don't know flash photography please be aware You've got to use a lot of diagonals with this, and this joystick isn't great for that, actually. Even with my improvement to fix the design flaws with it, although they're only temporary. Anyway, you get the idea with this game. So, uh, let's see if there's something else we can play. to work out most of these games. No, I won't play them. <coughs> Ooh, Scorpio Games World. Uh, see, I put all of them in a single disc image because they're so fucking small. And now I can't actually load them because as soon as you press that, it's going to run. And you might not even be able to do the old run stop before it actually runs. You've got to do Daily Thompson's decap. Yeah, see, it don't work. And there's no reset option. You can either save load of state or exit the game or enter the virtual keyboard which doesn't have a reset option. So Just 
try Popeye free. Now I think it's time for another coffee. So, uh, damn, how many minutes is this shit been going? As usual, I'm going to stitch them together in the 